All right, here we are with a second deck from Barreled. This is going to be a strong arm GDI aggro. This is very similar to a strong arm aggro I've been playing. Um, I don't really like this deck either, to be honest. But uh, this has no heavy, like, there's no way to spend your money effectively, I'd say. There's no, like, good heavy frontline unit or anything. There's no money sink. I guess, tur I guess turret is so expensive now that it's kind of a money sink. Because uh, turret got nerfed so badly. It has shocks and drones, which I think is very, very weird. Both of these units are, like, heavy anti-infantry. This one obviously is not expensive, but it, its role is heavy anti-infantry. And our only anti-air is missile pitbull. So we're going to struggle with heavy air as well. Um, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll try the deck and we'll see how it goes, but I don't... I don't predict myself liking this one very much. I think it's an odd choice. Uh, there was a deck that I played recently that was very similar that had APC instead of the Drone Swarm. That one I liked quite a lot more because it has the APC. That deck, that deck, like, you could play a two-building strategy and it was pretty effective unless your opponent had tanks. And then you had Orca to fight tanks or Giger or MLRS. That deck I quite liked. This deck replaces the APC with Drone Swarm, Establishing which, like, control. opening the air tower and building a Drone Swarm is cheaper than building an APC, Three. but is also Two. way less impactful Four. than building an APC. Like, getting a, getting a Drone Swarm out Your is not a high impact line. play. Anyway, maybe it'll be good, I don't know, we'll try it out. It's, it's also kind of similar to that, Alicia, that weird Alicia deck that she had for a while, where she had snipers instead of the shocks, but a very similar deck. Actually, she shouldn't have dogs either, she had, like, no good opening unit. Maybe it's nothing like the Alicia deck. I'm just thinking it has like a heavy anti-infantry unit and a drone swarm, which is weird, but anyway, I think Alejandrito plays MLRS. If I remember correctly, I believe he's an MLRS player. Uh, he's gone Pitbull, so we're gonna mirror. We don't really have a thing that shuts down Pitbull, like our best answer to Pitbull is Pitbull in this deck. Uh, when he goes MLRS, which I'm 99% sure he has in his deck, we're gonna have to go Orca. So I'm really trying, yeah, I'm trying not to open another building because I really want to be able to build the Orca and rush it at this thing ASAP. I really need to kill the MLRS here. Yeah, I mean, I, I like I'm basically trading off the Orca, that's okay. I just had to kill the MLRS. Ooh, okay, he's got jump jets, that's very bad for me. Kind of regretting building this missile trooper now, not gonna lie. Need a shock trooper instead. Oh, that was not a shock trooper, that was a dog. Okay, I missed like, and probably lost the missile. I'm letting the jump jets go here so that I can put a turret down and they can't move away from it. He should actually be driving away from the turret. Because the jump jets fly, he could have moved away from the turret there and just like danced back and forth on top of the pad, but away from the turret, that's what he should have done. Maybe he didn't notice the turret, maybe that didn't occur to him, I don't know, but that's why I won the missile. I would have definitely lost that missile if he just danced the jump jets over this tile. So the turret stopped shooting them. So yeah, that's what my opponent should have done there. I probably should have made some jump jets as well. When I, when I, when I, when I went to make the shock troopers, I probably should have just made jump jets. Now that I think about it. Sorry, I mean drone swarm, not jump jets. When I made when I said, oh, I'm going to make a shock trooper and made a dog by accident, I think I probably should have just been making a drone swarm. Because it's unblockable. It's unblockable and it kills the infantry. Now this is an interesting situation, uh, my opponent is playing the classic Talon MLRS combo. This is a super strong combo, like it's just, it's, you can see it's very very good. Because the things you want to fight MLRS with are infantry and air and Talon beats both of those. So it's really difficult, it's just it's actually incredibly difficult to beat this combination. It's just super strong. I need something to absorb the MLRS shot so that I can get a turret down. Alright, now the turret can help me with the... Talon, and then the Orca can kill the, you know, the Orca kills the thingy, the MLRS. Uh, now I just, I'm super pop capped, I've got like three one-man squads over here, which is pretty horrible. Alright, we won. Okay, well, we were not actually that well favoured. If he got on this pad a little bit sooner, I was going to be screwed, because I was so pop capped. But yeah, that was rough. Now Sling would be awesome. That's, well... Awesome is a strong word. I would still rather have had a hammerhead there than a sling. But yes, a sling would have been good there. A sling would definitely have been good there. Drone swarm is for things like MG or missile and for pad holding. And to break shock mirror. 
Why do you need to break a shock mirror? You've also got dogs, right? Establishing battlefield control. Okay, Three, coin bird. We know two, coin bird's playing uh, Inferno Chuggy. At least we can safely assume that he's still playing Inferno Chuggy. Apologies to all headphone users of my YouTube videos. He looks like he's trying to stall, which makes me think either he's changed deck or... I mean, it's not unreasonable to try and stall with an Inferno deck, to be fair. Uh, what do I have to fight Infernos? I have nothing, right? I said this at the start. My deck is again very weak to Infernos because I only have Pitbull. I only have Pitbull and Missile to fight air. So yeah, my deck is just weak to Inferno. This is gonna be this is gonna be a difficult matchup again. I think my deck is kinda weak to My deck is kinda weak to Chuggy as well. Although Huck is telling me that I can beat Chuggy with Orca. Maybe he can beat Chuggy with Orca. I think it's very difficult. Although that was with Sniper as well, right? To get the range advantage. Maybe with Shock it's not possible to beat Chuggy. This deck actually, I don't know how I'm... I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just thinking right now. How do I beat, how do I beat Chuggy Laser with this deck? Like, you can't send the Shocks in. Because of the Chuggy. And you can't use Orca because of the lasers. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm kind of drawing a blank on this one. I have no idea how I'm supposed to beat. Chuggy laser with this deck. Uh, I, I mean, I can make drone swarm to fight the laser, which is not great because it loses one v one against a defensive laser, and it has he has bikes as well, so like that shuts it down. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This uh, this seems this seems like a very difficult matchup. It doesn't seem like a, it doesn't seem like I have many outs here to uh, to laser Chuggy. I think we just have to spam drone swarms, and that is all that we have, which is not great. Yep, that's <laughs> my amount of ideas, man. I don't know what to do. I have no idea how to beat Laser Chuggy. You can't beat Laser Chuggy with Pitbull Shot, and you can't beat it with Orca Shock either. So. Unit lost. Unit lost. Unit ready. I don't know. Unit lost. I don't know what to suggest here. Missile ready to fly. This is. I mean, this is just. Rivals is very. I, I find rival, rivals to be very matchup based in this pack. Has been my experience. Like usually, the player with a better matchup wins by quite a bit at the moment. And that is uh, continuing that trend. Do not know how to win this matchup. Absolutely no idea. It looks like, I mean, like, I don't know how much money he, he must have so much money because I'm not, I, like, I have no efficiency. I, I just won that missile by grinding down his units and then he just didn't have units at the right time. That's basically how I won that missile. I don't think Inferno even makes that much sense for him. Because yeah, he he just has shitloads of cash. Because uh, because of like I just, I've been so inefficient with my gameplay. I guess Inferno does make sense because my deck is just bad versus it. Yeah, he just had like 300. He just had like 300 tips there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make air. I'm just gonna fight the Infernos by just making air and sticking it on the pads and hoping that I win. That's my game plan. Looks like he's gonna Inferno my base. Okay. GG, well played. <laughs> GG, well played. <laughs> Both teams fought hard. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how. I have no idea how to win that matchup. That seems, that seems completely unwinnable. Like all your opponent has to do is make a bunch of lasers and a chuggy, and I don't really see how you can beat it. So I was talking at the start of the video, um, I was talking at the start of the video about how the I played a similar deck to this, but it had APC instead of Drone Swarm. That deck, when you play against Chuggy Laser, you just transition into APCs, which is something that can actually walk up to and beat a laser, which is something you need to have. You, like, 
To beat Chuggy Laser, you even need to have something that can kill the chemical buggy through the lasers, which basically for GDI is Predator Tank, end of list. That's like pretty much the only unit you can use to actually kill it. Or you need something that can kill the lasers without dying to the chemical buggy. This deck does not contain either of those things. So this deck I think is just... This deck just seems very bad against Chemical Buggy, which is a really bad place to be in this meta game because everyone is playing Chemical Buggy. I'm not really sure why I built an air tower here. When did I last do a cola ham? It's actually been ages. Um, I bought I bought the ingredients uh, and then just didn't make it because I couldn't be bothered. It takes like three hours. Um, and yeah, I just haven't haven't made one in ages. I might make one, I might make one for, we're going to Cornwall next week to do board game holiday, which is going to be fucking great. Um, but I might make a cola ham there for the boys. That seems like a thing I'll probably do. But it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good meal for a bunch of people as well, because you make a, you make a shitload of food. Combined medals is the only real number one. Yeah, I hate that they changed the ladder. I hate that they changed the ladder to be faction based because really like it should be it should be just metals in my opinion. Enemy base destroyed. Three, Not like Alicia tier. But uh, yeah, they're both good players and they play a lot. Or like used to. I mean obviously Soft Stuff hasn't played in ages. I don't even know if Softo did get to uh, rank 1 ever, because I know that he played like a lot and he had rank 1 throughout a lot of the season, but then usually Alicia would play a ton at the end of the season to catch up. So I don't know if, um, I don't know if Softo actually ever ended a season rank 1. It wasn't really, I mean it was hard for anyone to get rank 1 back then except Alicia, because she used to play a lot at the end of the season to get rank 1. And she was the best player, so stopping her getting rank 1 was pretty difficult. Agent Shadow was best? Oh really? Based on what? Because he won less tournaments than Alicia. So I kind of think that Alicia was better. One less tournaments, less rank 1 ladder. Just, I'm not really sure what, what metric Agent was better than Alicia in. This buggy spam, man, this is super annoying. Looks like I'm gonna lose to it. I really should have gone. When I built the first missile, I thought to myself I should have gone Orca here. Because that's actually what beats. Um, that's what beats buggy tank first missile. But I didn't, and now I regret that decision. Head to head. Uh, I don't actually know if Agent beat Alicia more than Alicia beat Agent. I'm not sure if that's. It was pretty close between them, to be honest. I don't, I don't remember if uh, Agent won the most. I don't believe he did. Maybe he did. Maybe he won more head-to-heads. I'm not, I'm not certain. I think Kenny would probably know. Kenny probably has better information on that than I do. Yeah, the Orca is super good in this matchup. Still very hard to beat bikes. That is just the nature of rivals. It's just, it is very hard to beat bike squadrons in rivals. They are just the best unit in the game. Generally speaking, the once you get a third missile, GDI tends to do better. The nod, especially like I'm playing a free building deck, getting all my buildings open is pretty useful. As the game gets later and we have more money, I can afford more expensive units. Like he's making, he doesn't care what time of the game it is because he just spams 30 cost, which is very cheap and easy to do whenever. When we get later, I can start spamming 40 cost or even 70 cost, and that's when I get an edge. Yeah, the third missile wasn't particularly close, honestly. Like the first missile he beat me, it was close. Second missile I beat him, it was close. Third missile I dominated it, which is not. Super unusual. That's how, that happens a lot. Oh, Victor again. Uh, his deck is like a pretty fast jump jetty deck. I might not. I might not go dogs first in case he jump jet rushes me again. Is 
Isn't the Lucky getting jump jet rushed? Probably can go dogs now. So he's playing like rifle, jump jet, pitbull, orca, talon, something. I can't remember what the last unit is. Building online. He thinks I have snipers because of the last game we played, but no, it's just shock troopers this time. <laughs> so your rifle by the base is not going to do anything. Cops are a lot more forgiving than snipers as a unit. I guess I also go Pitbull. I don't really know what else I can do here. He's got that bad. Oh, we messed it up. Feels bad. Stop shooting the jump jet troopers, please. Yeah, nothing I can do here. Just too many, too many low squads. Messed up the, messed up the start of that. By letting him on the pad. Now he is legally obliged to attack my harvester with every unit he has, as is the way of rivals. As the rivals' law of the land, you must attack my harvester with everything you control. Is that Talon? Talon is going to be pretty good against me, actually. Talon is going to be super annoying. Really, I'm just Pitbull spamming this game. Surprised to see Victor playing jump jets. I think jump jets are kind of bad now. But, you know, I guess he's just having fun. I mean, he used to play jump jets a lot. I think he just really likes them. Probably why he has them. This deck really lacks a uh, like strong answer to Pitbull. Like I just have to Pitbull mirror every time someone has Pitbull, which is. It doesn't feel great. I also keep ending up with these situations where I pit bull mirror and then I'm like got a couple of low hit point pit bulls. Can't win the next pit bull mirror. Doesn't feel great. Okay. Should, looks like we should win this missile pretty comfortably. It's not getting on this third pad. Yeah, cool. And now everything at the harvester. Obviously. We're gonna lose it. Whatever. His deck seems kind of bad against Shock Trooper because he has talons. Like the snipers, he could kill reasonably quickly, but talons are talons are a lot talons are a lot weaker against shocks than snipers. Doesn't take that long to kill a sniper squadron. It takes a pretty long time to kill a Shock Trooper. Defense online. Where's the action? Let's go, troopers. Unit lost. Oh, I messed up. Ah, oh, I should have moved the shocks across. I just keep losing to Victor because I'm playing badly. <laughs> I just straight up, I just keep misplaying against Victor. If I just move the shocks across, I think I win that one, because I kill the Orca here as well. Complete. Three, two, one. New objective received. Building online. Unit ready. Alright, do Brazil. I'm getting old? It's not getting old, I literally have a medical condition. <laughs> Unit ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I am getting old, but that's not the problem. Unit ready. Unit lost. Unit ready. Lost. Mohawk against what a weird choice to go Mohawk against sharks. Unit 
Razorback. That makes more sense. What do I have to fight Mohawk Razorback? It's nothing, right? Again, my deck is just Missile Pitbull as anti-air, so I'm just pretty weak to this. <laughs> I don't like this deck very much, in case you guys hadn't figured that out yet. It just seems weak to a lot of stuff. Like, I can't figure out what the strengths of this deck are supposed to be. It seems very, very low on strengths. I think it's just a Pitbull Shock deck. Like, I don't really think that... I don't really think that... Throne Swarm makes sense in this deck. Are you 29 at the moment, Pablo? Alright, so this is MLRS Talon. Um, my deck seems, again, pretty weak to this. Uh, we beat him before, right? We played him before on a 3-pad map and we won. But, like, we don't have a good answer to Talons with an MLRS in front of them. Because they beat Missile and they kill the people with the MLRS. Probably my best bet is a combination, send Missile in to absorb MLRS hit. Then follow up with Pitbulls to kill the Talons whilst it's reloading. Something like that. Guessing he's gonna tech switch, yeah. No big surprises there. Another jump jet player as well. And is he pop capping me? No, okay. Cool. It would have been sad if I got pop capped. Being pop capped is the worst. Alright, we're just gonna try and hold this pad for now. We need, some, we need a pop cap. We need to be able to build another shock trooper. So I'm gonna send these two to attack his harvester just so he goes and kills them. Oh, can't put a turret on one of it. Alright, nice. That went pretty well. Uh, I guess shocks seem like my best unit because you have to make Talon against them. Talon is not great. Yeah, I don't know. I, like, Talon surrounding an MLRS is going to be just a humongous beating. We could do what we did last game. Get the Orca, try and sneak it in when we have a chance. Not looking great. Oh, here we go. Come on, Orca. Oh, sad. At least we'll kill that pit bull. It's not a complete waste. Alright, nice. We got the MLRS. Yes, got the Orca block. Let's go. Let's go. Orca block OP. What a grind. <laughs> Every game with this deck is an ultra grind. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, I'm against Beto. Beto? I don't know. Also incorrect, George. You heard I had a conversation about your accounts? Yeah, I hear that you're like 50% of Turkish force, ERA. That's the word on the street. Apparently you just have like 15 accounts and that's why Turkish Force has so many players. It's because you're just every player in Turkish Force is you. Unit ready. 
Who told this? Just everyone, man. It's the word on the street. Unit ready. That's a bigger dog. So the thing about Drone Swarm to break a Shock Mirror is Drone Swarm is terrible versus GDI because Pipple exists. And if they don't have Pipple, they're probably gonna have Slingshot, which is even worse for Drone Swarm. So the best way to beat the best way to break a Shock Mirror is to win the Shock Mirror. Like, you just don't break Shock Mirrors, you just have to win them. Now, maybe against Flamers, if you're losing to Flamers, you could break it. That would be a legitimate thing, but yeah, you really like you don't really break shock mirrors. Definitely, like air does not beat. Air doesn't get you ahead in a shock mirror. If it did, then GDI wouldn't win so much with uh, with shock troopers. Because they lose to air all the time. All right, hog champ. Double harvest are not the best. Enemy base destroyed. No, it's not Ali. Three, two, one. New objective available. No, it's not by Lali either. I can't remember who it is. Is it, is, is it Dogen? Which one? Which one is? Which one is Dogen? It's Dogen, I think. That's just another rivals watcher. Is that right? I think it's him. Barracks opening. Okay, Tommy. Yeah, just just another Amram watcher, as we like to call him. Yeah, every time I play him, like I play him and I win, and he comes in and like makes an excuse for his loss every single time. He said, oh, like, every time I play against him, he, like, comes into the chat to, so, he very, he, like, comes into the chat to give a reason why he lost. It's very, like, you got lucky this time vibes every single time. Every single time I queue into him, he comes in, he's like, oh, you got lucky. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, Scarabs, the mighty Scarab. I did not see that coming. Let me see if I can get the Scarab to kill itself. Oh, 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 hey, ah, oh, what? I was right on it. That's some bullshit right there. That should have been an easy Scarab self-kill. Alright, the Jake and Bake. Very exciting. Harvester ready. Ready. The thing is, like, the idea that it, it does feel like since the economy changed, you can't make as many pitfalls without running out of money, whereas with bikes you can make as many as you want and never run out of money. But, like, the stats show that you only make, like, 10 less money in the first 50 seconds or something with the economy change, so it doesn't really make sense. But that being the reason... I, just, I can't I can't put my finger on what it is. I can't work out why I think it might it might just be that people are playing bikes better than they used to. Wow, that is a very bad boost. Holy shit, that is one of the worst boosts I've ever seen. It also might just be that I'm like playing pitfalls worse than I used to. 
Like, people are playing bike better, but I'm playing Pitbull worse. Isn't that insane? Like, I mean... Okay, well, I don't know why he, I don't know why he moved off the pad. What I was gonna... He should have won the missile there, right? If he hadn't moved off the pad, he would have won the missile. Isn't that completely insane? I had, like, two Pitbulls that beat about three bike squadrons, and he used a boost on a single bike by accident, and he still would have won the missile. <laughs> because Nod is so much better than GDI. Like... I won, there's no, in no world did I come close to losing any encounter in the first missile, and I still should have lost it, just because there's no way to get enough, enough stuff in play as GDI to win the first missile against Nod. They just, they can just make so many bikes. You just, it doesn't matter how many you kill, it's just always 10 more bikes, you can never kill them all. It's just absurd, man, it's just actually ridiculous. Playing GDI is just an epic struggle. No, 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 let me, let me build turret game. Thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I really thought it wasn't going to let me build that turret for a while there. <laughs> that, was, that was a scary moment for me. Alright, we got that. We got that. Oh, I'll tell you what, man, I did not like this very much. This deck felt so weak. This deck felt so weak to Chuggy. So weak to Chuggy. There's just like no way to beat Chuggy Laser with this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, 80% win rate. One of the losses was to Chuggy. I think we got, like, some easier opponents here. We got, like, a couple of Diamond League players. Yeah. Had, like, a couple of Diamond League players. This one just felt completely unwinnable. These ones felt pretty bad. Um, I think we, like, played pretty well to win those. This one... This one I played badly. I should have won this. If I moved the shocks across at the end, I would have won. So I think we should have been, like, 9-1 with this deck. Which is the same as we should have been with the other barrel deck. This deck is worse, I think. Uh, and we just got we, like we played we played lower rank opponents, generally speaking. Um, I liked the APC version more. Like I played an APC version a while back, which is basically just this. Uh, I think the APC is a lot better. It gives you something that is meaty and can hold pads and can beat laser one v one. So I liked that a lot more. All right. All right, so Barold asked me to also show these decks against No Half MG. So we're going to have a special additional game against Serpus. He's playing Solomon. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter what what, uh, what commander you play with No Half MG, I guess. So the idea is to show how I would play these decks against No Half MG, basically. Obviously, I shouldn't know for sure. When you see the missiles, that's a big clue that he's playing No Half MG, because that is what... Going missiles after dog is what no half MG does if they see dogs. Alright, so we're gonna need to try and push around and get as much damage on the MG as possible. We're obviously not gonna kill it here, but that's okay. The main thing is to stall. Like, we wanna stall the missile like as much as we can, and we want to, uh. We want to, um. Still okay, I'm trying to say here. We need to stall the missile and just get to gets to our units that can defeat the MG. Alright, so he's going Pitbull. Gonna keep stalling. So the best the best thing in our deck against No Half MG is the uh, is the turret. We can find a good time to turret. Like a good we need we need a, we need a spot open to turret into as well. Normally you don't care about losing the first missile against no half MG, that's not really a big deal. What we need to do is break the MG. He's you can see he he knows that we want a turret because he's putting a unit in the turret spot. Alright, there we go. Oh, no, I can't turret there? Okay, apparently I can't turret there. That's a problem. Not being able to turret is definitely an issue. Okay. We're gonna get an Orca. We'll try and use the Orca to clear the Pitbull. 
And then if we kill the MG... Nope, still didn't kill the MG. <laughs> no Harv MG is actually kind of bad against missiles. Missiles is one of the best units against no Harv MG. So if you if you do clear the MG, you spam missiles afterwards. Apparently I just can't turret there, it's super annoying. Alright, so now we just spam missiles, because he basically needs an MG to fight missile. That's generally that's generally how no Harv MG works. Because they're kind of weak to missiles apart from because of, apart from the MG. Unit lost. Unit ready. I'm obviously want the game to go as long as possible. Uh, him getting another MG, him getting another MG up is a problem, especially with the sling to protect it. Should have probably got a shock trooper in play before now. I think we might be dead. I think we fucked this one out. Yeah. It does look like we're pretty dead here. Because we can't get an MG on the far side, sorry, a turret on the far side, that's why we can't win this. Well, okay. <laughs> this deck's not great against no half MG, to be honest. But I just wanted to show how I would try and play the D the game against them. With no place to put a turret, it's it's very difficult with this deck. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I will see you next time.